Welcome to this tutorial on running your SQL Server, so querying your SQL Server databases within VS Code. VS Code obviously being a very popular IDE commonly used um, with Python and other programming languages. Now, there's a couple dependencies. You'll need to have VS Code installed and SQL Server. But once you've done that, you can actually go into your extensions on the side pane here and simply type in MS SQL and this will give you the option to install the SQL Server extension for VS Code. So that needs to be done primarily. Uh, that will take a little bit of time, you know, up to uh, 30 seconds maybe, and then that will be successfully installed as an extension within VS Code. So that's step one. As you can see, we can connect to Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, we can connect to, um, Azure SQL databases as well. So we cover a lot of the Transact SQL side of things. Uh, and one nice advantage here is that you've also got the, the dark mode that I've got another video displaying dark mode um, in SQL Server, but it's quite hard to natively get this. And of course the dark mode is, is a lot less jarring on the eyes. So then what we need to do is we need to hit K Control Shift P to open the command palette and type in SQL. And from here, we'll have the option MS SQL Connect. And this is going to allow us to go ahead and connect our database up. So it will just go ahead and install the, the SQL tools. Uh, again, this, this won't take much time. I've slightly sped this part up. From here, you can select that you, you want to use the language, get rid of these pop-ups as well. And again, from here, press Control Shift P, open up the VS Code command palette. And now we need to look at managing the connection profiles. So click there. And this is, there's some fairly simple steps here. They sort of vary, so you can follow along dependent on exactly how you want to configure this. But in the server name, we can just go ahead to our actual, um, in my case, our Microsoft SQL Server instance. And I'm just going to copy my server name. For me, it's my desktop server name, so I can just go ahead and import that back in. Now, there may be different ways that you want to configure this. You may want to connect to a certain database. If so, you can go back and get that. An example of a sample database is AdventureWorks 2019. It may be something like that. I'm integrated, so I'm just going to go ahead and step, skip the extra steps uh, for the extra configuration. You may have logons, specific logons you want to connect to. But this is the very basic way to do it. Um, and this will show you how easy it is to actually, especially if you're running this locally and it's just sort of a development or test environment, really easy to connect to, to Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio through that, that GUI. So again, we can ex expand here. I do get a warning, but I'll enable the certificate here. And when I do this, I can just go ahead and start to actually uh, play around and query my databases. So you see a popular sample database, uh, AdventureWorks 2019. I do have another separate video to this. Um, if you're interested in getting this sample data, really powerful, around 70 tables. So I can right click, and like you may have seen before, uh, we can just query select all, or top 1000 in BigQuery, it may be limit 1000 in T-SQL within SQL Server or Azure SQL. It may be a top 1000, but this essentially just gives you the 1000 results from the de desired table. So already at this point, we've managed to uh, set up a SQL Server within VS Code. We can now query it and we also get this nice vertical layout. If you're using SQL Server Management Studio, you will see the query uh, on top in a horizontal fashion, the script, and then the query output, the query result falls below horizontally so it's quite nice for a lot of people to have this um to have this vertical view so again i can close these down uh, and just show how we can go ahead and actually start to query things manually so we could create a new file and um, here i'll just add a text file just to show you how simple it is and then we can save as and we will go ahead and just save this as a sql file wherever you like so I'll just call this test query, save it as a SQL file. And from there, we're all configured to actually write some SQL. We can see we've got our connections there and our query history. And you can go ahead and just write your standard sort of 
um, T-SQL code, so Transact SQL, SQL Server specific, obviously, for that RDBMS. And I could choose the columns I want, so business entity ID, uh, potential, potentially national number here. So we've got the national ID number. And then we just select the from destination, maybe slightly different to how you may query uh, within the context of a table in SQL Server Management Studio. Here, we're just going to write the server first. So because we didn't specify, uh, well, the database, because we didn't specify one particular database, then the schema and then the table, obviously a schema, just a, a logical grouping of some of those related tables that we have. And again, we can run this and it works perfectly. We get that nice vertical output. Everything's quite easy to see. The dark mode's nice. And I would suggest if you're using this in a test or development environment to give it a shot, really easy to configure, uh, a really powerful and user-friendly. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.